All right, guys, I wanted to do an update video on a video I did about four months ago, between four and five months ago. It is about the generic DJI batteries. Now, I am still using the generic batteries in my Phantom 3 standard. I've done two updates at least on my standard since I had these update I had these uh batteries now I did not expect to still be using these batteries just to be honest with you because of all the reviews I read and all the comments that said once you do an update they won't work so I expected I kind of put off an update for a really long time because I was afraid that the batteries wouldn't work and then I'd be stuck with just the one battery well mine still work I haven't done anything special to my drone at all. It is still a regular, just Phantom 3 standard. I haven't done anything. It is not asking for an update right now, but I didn't do anything special to get this batter these batteries to work. Now, I got these batteries off of Amazon. Um, I will say that the first batteries I ordered when you look at the battery history, you can see how many charges it's had and all that. It said it had one, ch the first batteries had multiple charges and discharges, and it just seemed like they were used. So I sent them back. The ones I got, I, there was nothing wrong with the batteries. It just said they had a history. These were charged once and that was it. So I kept these. I figure for the price of one DJI battery, um, retail price, I got two figure if they work for a while hopefully they'll work for at least a year then I will have gotten my money's worth out of them because like I said two of them were the price of one retail DJI battery so I have been impressed they seem to last just as long as the um, the branded DJI branded battery um, it doesn't fly any different it may be a minute or two less but it's nothing significant where I can say oh this is a generic battery I know it's only going to last me blah 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 I haven't really seen any any difference in the battery life they charge the same amount of time I, what I usually do is I will fly my drone use as many batteries as I need to that day the night after I use it I plug at least one battery in when it's charged I plug the other one in so I kind of monitor and I will change the batteries on the charger because I only have one charger so I will charge the main battery the actual DJI battery first and then I charge the other two if they've been used if they haven't been used I don't charge them but I have not had any trouble out of the batteries the only trouble I've had with my drone is I had a span of a few days where I had some bad luck. Um, I actually broke the antenna off of my, this is actually my old controller right here. I actually broke the antenna off, um, I snapped it off on a fishing trip, it was in a bag like a dummy, I just put it in a backpack not thinking, um, but I learned my lesson, I got a new controller, it works just fine with the with the drone so if you have a problem with your controller this one was used I've paid a fraction of the price of a new one so I got a used controller paired it up with my drone no problems <laughs> almost as soon as I got it back actually when I got the controller working I flew it into a tree at my house and it broke the gimbal mount it was a dumb move. I was messing around with my dogs, trying to show one of my friends that it what it was what one dog would do when I flew the drone in the backyard, not anywhere close to him, but just if he saw it in the air, he'd just bark at it, and it was just funny because the other dogs were like, yeah, whatever, but he would just constantly bark at it. So I thought it was funny showing one of my friends, and I run it into a tree. I find it across the fence in the ditch, face down. The motors are trying to run. So the propellers are still trying to, um, to turn, even though it's sitting upside down. So I thought to myself, great, you know, I've ruined the motors, but it did not. Um, all I had to do was replace this part that connect, the actual part that connects to the drone. Did that, it works just fine. 
I also will say that I got some generic blades and I would suggest not doing that. The blades that I got, you could tell they were not actual DJI blades because around the part that connects, that actually connects to the drone, if you notice the ones that are DJI, hold on, I'll show you. So here are my, these are the actual DJI um, propellers. I want to say I threw the other ones away to make sure I didn't use them, but they are plastic. If you get some and they are aluminum, they're not made by DJI. Um, I could tell the difference when it flies. I uh, took it out one day and it just would not fly right. And the only thing I had changed were the propellers. And I, I figured all I did was take it above about 10 feet up. I could tell that it was not flying right. So I brought it right back down. I was not going to take the chance and save $10 on some crappy propellers. So my suggestion with the propellers, don't do it. Buy DJI propellers, um, the blades. They, they work. I'll actually show you, I may not have them in here, but you can see where these have just taken a beating, but they still work. They have dirt on them from where they crashed. It's just, they've taken a beating, they still work. My suggestion is do not buy the blades. Like I said, I have not had any trouble with the batteries. They work just fine. They've done great for me. This is about, it's either, it's between five or six months that I've been running these. They work great. No problems out of my batteries at all, out of the generic ones. You guys may have had other um, experiences, hopefully not bad experiences, but if you've had a bad experience, comment, that's fine. But in my experience, I've gone through two updates on my drone, no problems at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the drone to my phone so that you guys can see what I'm running as far as a put one of the generic batteries in so you can see that my drone is up to date. Ooh, that battery needs charging. I'm going to connect it to may not have enough juice to connect. Nope, it doesn't. So I'm going to use a generic battery and I'm going to connect the drone to my phone so that, wow, so that you guys can see that I am not pulling your leg as far as what version I'm using and all that. So right now I'm just connecting it as if I'm getting ready to fly it, but I'm not going to. This is going to show you I'm gonna cover up my serial number just oh come on. Okay, so Addy mode. This is gonna show you what version I'm running. Hopefully it will. Hopefully you can see that, but it says the app is version 3.1.10 and the aircraft is version 1.8.10. So that is the version that my aircraft is on right now. So that goes to show you that I'm running up to date totally up-to-date um, software on my drone. That was the battery, that was a generic battery that I had in it right then. So I haven't had any trouble out of this drone other than my problems with breaking the controller and then crashing the drone into the ditch, but I haven't had any trouble. These batteries have worked out great for me. I will put a link in the description to the actual batteries that I bought off of Amazon. You guys can go check them out. Always use it. Your, use your discretion. If you get get a used unit, I say why not. You know why not just go ahead and use a generic battery. If you buy a unit new, I, I I stay with the fact that if you have a warranty, I wouldn't use these just in case it does void your warranty. But I bought this new. I mean used. Very good deal with a hard case and everything else. So. I don't mind using the generic battery because I did buy it used and I got a good deal on it. So totally up to you what you do. If And I'm talking the Phantom 3 standard, the standard. I don't know anything about the advanced or professional or anything. I don't know anything about those. This is the 3 standard. 
So I hope you guys were able to use this video to your advantage. Hopefully you can find some batteries that are a decent price for you. Always take caution when you're flying your drones. Follow all the rules, all the laws, but I hope you did enjoy this video and I hope you can use this video in the future. Thanks for watching and make sure you grab life by the fish.